What is going on YouTube? Robbie from the Spandex 7 here and uh, in today's video I'm going to be doing my review of the Microsoft Surface Touch Cover. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first things first, let's show you guys the actual touch cover. Okay, so it's uh, the first thing you'll probably notice is the magnets up at top. That is how it connects. I'll show you guys how that connects in just a second. But then we have a full QWERTY keyboard, um, the regular setup here, with the numbers one through nine and the zero. Um, no functions key, no function keys, but we do have uh, some volume keys, some play, pause button, search, um, some other buttons. Uh, we have the start button down here, control shift, all the normal things. Uh, also, we don't have a number pad over here, but um, it is supposed to be a compact device, so you pay for what you get. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But then we have a very, very thin, honestly, this is maybe a couple stacks of paper thick, which is freaking awesome to me. Um, and uh, we have this really nice feeling on the back. I love the feeling of the back. Uh, it's like a, almost like a soft touch material. Uh, feels really, really nice. Uh, and then we have the trackpad down here, which I will get to uh, later in the video. Um, and then we have the two clickers. So that's pretty much it on the actual keyboard. Um, all in all, very nice um, design. Uh, a lot of engineering went into this. Uh, and let's let's get into actual its application. So basically, like I talked about, the magnets are at the top here. And uh, we also have some magnets underneath the device. So uh, basically all you have to do is just put it near it and it will find its place just like that. So um, this thing I've never, I've had this thing for maybe eight months now and I have never had a problem with it falling off or anything. Uh, it sticks on there really, really well. Um, I'm pulling and nothing's coming up. So uh, that's, that's good. Um, and yeah, so let's get to the typing portion of this. Okay, so the main reason that uh, someone would probably buy a keyboard for the Surface tablet is that you want to use it for something more than just web browsing and uh, video consumption, all that stuff. So probably the main application will be uh, essay writing or um, things like that. So let's go, let's open up a Word um, document and let's kind of look at the responsiveness and uh, the speed of this. I don't know if I clicked it there. It, I just turned on the device, so it's going to take a little bit slower than it would normally. So we have this open, and uh, there we go. So we're opened up with a new document. So I'm just going to type some sample stuff, like I said. So I'm just going to do, uh, you guys can check. Let me, let me actually make the font size a little bigger so you guys can actually see it. Okay. I'm going to put it at like 26 or something just so you guys can see. And uh, I'm just going to write the quick, the quick brown fox jumped over to the lazy dog. So let's do it. I might mess up, and that's all part of the process. I'm going to type it like I was going to type it anyway. So here we go. Boom. So you guys can see, uh, like I've been using this for about eight months, like I said. And um, I can type like that. You know, I'm not, the, I'm not the fastest typer on a regular keyboard, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm decent. So uh, let me do it again for you guys. So here we go. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, there was a small mess up right there with uh, the word the. To be honest, I do mess up a lot on this keyboard um, because the buttons are kind of not spaced out real well. And I seem to press, like especially when I'm going down to hit space, I tend to hit M and N a lot instead of the space button. So there's, there's small things like that that you will have to get used to, and I'm still getting used to. To be honest, though, uh, I have typed maybe half a dozen essays on this, and uh, it's been it's been good. You know, there have been mess ups, like I said, but uh, you get used to it. And there's certain things that I'm still working out, and uh, eventually maybe I could type full blown essays, boom boom, just just like it was no problem, like a regular keyboard. And that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about is the touchpad. Okay, a lot of people have had um, some things to say about this and maybe the friction that it has or um, things like that. And like I said, this material is the same throughout the whole device. So this, this soft touch material is the same for the trackpad, the numbers, the backing, everything. So uh, a lot of people have maybe had their opinions about 
how this feels. Um, honestly, I haven't had any problems with the actual trackpad. Uh, I str scrolled just fine through articles, uh, and I just use, if you use two fingers, you can scroll. If you, if you scroll down on the touchpad, the page will go up, and if you scroll up on the touchpad, the page will go down. So, uh, I actually, that's coming very handy. But, the actual clickers, I have had some problems with. They're not the most responsive thing, and, um... It's sometimes, like, since it's such a small surface area that you can press, it's sometimes hard. You'd be, like, pressing over here or, like, you'll accidentally hit the right click. Um, but other than that, it's it's usable, and uh, you have to understand that this is, this is a keyboard that's super thin, and um, it, it's a touch cover. So you can't be expecting the greatest the greatest um, response from every button every time. But it gets you through the day with very little problems and it's not something super frustrating that you're gonna be punching a desk or something about it. It's honestly um, not bad and I've used it for eight months without without much problem. So uh, if, that's, if that's the deal breaker for you, don't let it be, it's not a big deal. My final thoughts are that if you are going to be buying this Surface just for the uh, media consumption portion of it, you do not need to purchase a keyboard. Obviously, I, I don't think I've ever used the keyboard for web browsing. Um, I just use the on-screen keyboard, which uh, if you guys haven't seen, let me do this real quick. Um, it's, it's not horrible. It gets you through. Look, check it out. It's not horrible. You can go through web uh websites with it so let's just YouTube go um, and yeah so all in all touch cover good purchase I'm glad I bought it uh, it intensifies the um, versatility of this device and I'm glad that I was uh, I purchased it but because it is so portable um, there are going to be a couple sacrifices that you may need to take but if you're willing to spend the other $50, the extra $50 for the type cover, uh, maybe you should get what with the type cover. But I'm saying I like the touch cover. I like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. Um, and there's honestly been a bunch of people that came up to me and said, is that really a keyboard? Stuff like that when I'm at school typing and stuff. So that pretty much wraps up the review of the touch cover, um, the Microsoft Surface touch cover. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. And uh, if you have any other questions about this keyboard, uh, ask me in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to them ASAP. I usually do. And once again, this is the Spandex 7. And if you haven't already, head over to the channel and subscribe. Um, and we will see you in the next one. This is Robbie from the Spandex 7. Check it out. Peace out, guys.